Hey guys, welcome to the homestead. So today I'm out with the sheep and the sheep are dropping lambs. We have about eight new lambs that have just dropped in the last week. So eight baby lambs and lambs are everywhere. Some of the sheep are down there because they're like, why is this guy in our field talking to us? And so I'm just sitting here next to a hay bale. And I figured I'd talk about lambs. I had to order some ear tags today because you know we're getting to a point now we have so many sheep that I can't keep track of them all the kids can't really they, they've been keeping track of all this up until now they, they have names for almost all the sheep they have names for all the babies over there lunchtime nurse those were just born yesterday I think they were just born last night and then we have some others that were born over the last couple nights like I said, we've got about eight, eight new lambs in just a week. So it's hard to keep track. Um, before, the kids had, had all the sheep named, all the females had names. Uh, the males were just named dinner, lunch, and breakfast. <laughs> uh, and so, but they had all the females named and they've named all the young, young new lambs now. But it's just getting hard. It's just getting hard to remember. And it's remembering who's you know, firstborn, who is, you know, just how many males and females we have, who is sired who, uh, because I want to be able to switch out rams here and there. It's just, it's hard to keep all track. So once you get to a point where we're at now, where we have about, you know, a dozen or more breeding ewes, uh, we want to make sure we can keep track because we want to, you know, grow the herd to about maybe two dozen breeding ewes. And at that point we can start selling, uh, you know, the offspring, you know, butcher, we're butchering them still, you know, it gets its own food source, but we want to be able to make some money and sell some of these, have it be just another income stream, especially for the kids, because the kids do all the work. You know, they're the ones who are out here feeding the sheep every day. They're the ones out here making sure they have water, making sure their water troughs are cleaned out, uh, you know, checking on them, you know, during breeding season, all that stuff. They're the ones doing all the work. And so they're the ones getting all, they should be the, one, be the, be the ones getting majority of the money. They're, they're, they have to learn to earn their pay because when you go out in the real world you have to work you know to earn your pay so it's a good thing to learn that now here at home that when you work yeah you get paid for that work and you get to keep that money and spend it you know and save it and you know buy the things you want with it so that's what we're doing so i ordered the ear clipping uh tags and they should be here in a couple of maybe a week or so and then we'll do a video probably on that and how we're going to tag them all because right now is when I, need, I just need to get them all tagged and we'll keep a log book um on who's what where's what and you know it's just going to help us out in the future when we continue to grow the herd but that's not why i'm making today's video i have some eggs inside we're making pickled eggs because it's that time of year again And some might say, Zach, why are you doing another egg video? You just did a pickled egg video last year. Well, the reason I'm doing another pickled egg video, I think we need to do another pickled egg video, is because I had so many comments and so many people email me right in, you know, specifically email me and say, Zach, you know you're going to die, don't you know, if you don't put those in a refrigerator. And I said, no, you're not. And we never did. They didn't put it up. We didn't put them in the refrigerator. We kept them on the counter here. My kids ate on them for months. Uh, my kids are still around. I'm still around. Folks, the reality is Mo never put his eggs in a refrigerator. This guy here from Dances with Wolves, remember that guy from that movie? He never put his eggs, his pickled eggs, in a refrigerator. In fact, the term pickled egg comes from a tavern, a pub in jolly old England that was named by Charles II. King Charles II nicknamed or named the pub the pickled egg because they sold or they gave away pickled eggs there for people who came in to drink from their pub. And he enjoyed it so much. And the name just stuck, and everything since then has been called the pickled egg. It's always been called the pickled egg. And they didn't have refrigerators back in jolly old England in the 1600s when, 1600s when King Charles II went into what was originally was going to be eventually called the pickled egg pub and tavern. It's not there anymore today. I think it's on near Tolly Avenue or Street in England, near the 
London Tower Bridge or something like that. Anyway, it's long gone, but the legacy still remains. And they didn't have refrigerators. <laughs> Folks, uh, I think there's been one case uh, from my research, one case in all of recorded history of someone dying from botulism from a pickled egg. And it's because he went through his pickled eggs before he pickled them, and he stuck them, put holes in them with a toothpick in order to get the pickling you know, solution into the inside of the egg. And because he did that, it actually introduced botulism inside the, inside the middle of the egg, and he got sick, I think, he, and he died or something. One case. Just don't stick your eggs with toothpicks, okay? But it's impossible for botulism to grow inside of vinegar, okay? And this is pure vinegar. No water. I'm not diluting it. It's pure vinegar the way they used to do it back in the old days. That's how they did it. Pure vinegar. And it's got spices in it. It's got some other things in it. It's got some cayenne pepper, some smoked paprika for spices, and it's got some garlic floating around in there as well. But that's how they used to do it. They didn't need refrigeration. Oh, it's got salt in it, but I put about a third of a cup, third of a cup of salt. But Zach, did you use pickling salt? They didn't have pickling salt back then. They just used salt. It's like people are so, the CDC, recommends that you only refrigerate your pickled eggs. And because the CDC says it, the Center for Disease Control, a government agency that takes your tax dollars and who does, who knows what with them, because they said it, it becomes gospel. Guys, people have long lived with pickled eggs, okay? It's okay. You can have your pickled eggs, and you don't need to refrigerate them if you don't if you don't have to. You can if you want to, fine. Go ahead and put them in the refrigerator. If it makes you feel better, put them in the fridge. But don't come down on me because I don't put my pickled eggs in a the refrigerator. They're pickled. I remember reading a, a online just re recently about a guy who was going into his tavern, you know, every, you know, long years and years ago, and his grandpa brought him into the tavern, and they. They ate pickled eggs, pickled herring, pickled pig's feet, pickled, 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 everything. And it was all just sitting on the bar. And it was free food. Uh, and um, you could just eat it. As long as you bought drinks there, the food was free. It was all pickled. And you could just get out what you wanted. But, you know, it was free and it was just there and everyone ate on it. You know, everyone, everyone stuck their own hands into the jar. <laughs> and nobody got sick. So at least that we know about. Um, again, so yeah, I, I just thought it would be fun to do another video on this because we are getting a lot of eggs right now. Um, this is the time of year it seems like we're getting a lot of eggs. It was last year, February, last year too. It's almost February now, and we're getting lots and lots of eggs. And so I said, I mean, I'll make some more eggs. This will sit in this jar for about eight weeks, eh, six to eight weeks or so, and I'll pull them out, and then the kids will begin gobbling them up. And so will I. They're pretty good. It's not my favorite snack in the world, but it is, you know, tasty. It hits the spot, you know, times when you want some, you know, good old protein. Um, and so it does. It, it think they say it. They say one of the reasons that pubs and taverns used to have pickled eggs on the bar was because it helped with ha helped with hangovers. I don't know if that's true, and there's some, you know, evidence of that because I guess the cysteine protein, it's an amino acid that exists within the egg, supposedly helps liver function and helps your liver to process the alcohol quicker. I don't know if that's true, but you know, interesting. But it's definitely a good snack. I, I like it. I enjoy it. My kids enjoy it, and that's why we pickle our eggs. So leave a comment below. Let me know what is your favorite pickled egg recipe. Uh, leave a comment below. Um, this is cayenne pepper and smoked paprika and some garlic and some other herbs and spices that I put into here. But if you have a favorite pickled egg recipe, be sure to leave a comment below. If you absolutely hate pickled eggs, please leave a com comment below and let us all know. If, if pickled, egg get, pickled eggs give you gas, leave a comment below so that we can all avoid you when we meet you in person. Okay, see you next time on The Homestead. Bye. Hey guys, we know that a lot of our audience are homeschoolers. Homeschooling here is very important to us. Uh, and if you're like us, maybe you've had a hard time training your youngsters to memorize their times tables. Well, I wanna introduce you to a program today that I think will help with that. This is Times Tales. It's perfect for small children. At age seven, my youngest son has his multiplication tables memorized, all of them. 
Times Tales is a series of stories that your child learns in a video. The video presents a simple story that your child can easily recall from memory and assist them in easily remembering the multiplication facts. My late wife Jamie made a video talking about how our oldest child still was having problems with times table memorization. Until we tried Times Tales. After months of getting behind and stressful struggling, Times Tales was almost an overnight correction and allowed him to get back on track with his math courses. So I want you to give this a try. They have different packages available and there's going to be a link in the description below. Every purchase you make from this program is going to help the homestead. Give it a try. It worked for us. I'm sure it can work for you and your child too. I know my math facts. Hey, hey there, thanks for watching our channel. If you're looking for great off-grid homesteading videos, this is the channel for you. Hit that subscribe button and be sure to like the video you just watched. You can also feel free to send us your questions by going to anamericanhomestead.com on our contact page and send me your question. Your question might get made into a video. In the meantime, check out some of these other great videos. Oh wait, go ahead and click them. Go ahead.